Diana Demmerich here, rah, rah, rah. Happy Thursday morning. I hope you're finding well. Beautiful spring weather here in Denmark at the moment. And I've got a wee question for you today. Uh, a, a little fun question, but before, before we get into that, we've got to do the basics. So I hope you are, uh, I hope you've done your morning routine or your evening routine whenever you're watching uh, this video. I, I've done mine dressed to shoes and look at this, look here. <gasps> My white jeans on for the first time this year. And uh, but before you all think, oh, we want to move to Denmark because I've said the weather's good. Uh, it, it's about five degrees uh, Celsius outside at the moment, which is, if I remember rightly, that's about 40 uh, Fahrenheit. But it will be warming up uh, during the day. But when I go and hang out my load of laundry this morning, I will be... Um, I, I, I've got a thin sweater that I wear up the top and, and one of my uh, scarves. This is one that uh, I got, and it was a clothes swap item. Uh, and actually, I'm talking about scarves because I've been playing about with some um, things that I'm going to be wearing uh, the next few days and adding a scarf. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video next week about how I tie my scarves because I get, I get a lot of questions about that. Uh, and th this is one from a, that I got in a Swedish charity shop. At the beginning of the year, and I love this one. It's actually been the inspiration for something I'm going to do in the garden. Anyway, uh, in other news, today is Thursday, which is Erin Day in Fly Lady Land. Remember, you 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 change things around to suit you. I actually did my errands yesterday, my my supermarket shop, because I was already out, and you know at the moment we're not kind of gadding about all over the place, so it made sense for me to do it yesterday. I had my list ready. And also uh, yesterday was Anti-Procrastination Day and I finished my Anti-Procrastination Day task uh, and, and you can tell I've done it because I've actually still got some paint on my uh, nails and I'll paint my nails properly uh, today. Uh, I was repairing a little flagpole that we have, a little Danish uh, flagpole. It had a wobbly bottom and you know, we, we don't want a wobbly bottom and I gave it a quick uh, lick of paint and we are good to go. I'll, I'll see if I can put a picture up here. Anyway, what I wanted to uh, ask you today is what makes your heart absolutely burst uh, with joy? Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I love winter bathing, sea swimming. And yesterday was one of those days that it's like a, almost a spiritual moment. I just feel like <gasps> my heart is going to absolutely burst. It was so beautiful there. Anyway, I... I as you know, I like to take you with me wherever I go. So I'm going to run the video so that you can see it for yourself. And, and then I'll tell you something else that absolutely makes me burst with joy. And then I want to know what your, your kind of joyful thing is. Okay, here comes the video. And the water today is, I know I say this every time, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So we've already been in for one dip and I'm about to take another. So did you enjoy that? Your little jaunt outside. And I know some of you cannot get out due to lockdown, but I hope that uh, cheered you up a bit. And the water temperature yesterday was eight degrees Celsius, which is, if I remember rightly, 46 F. Uh, and, and the air temperature was the same, but of course, when you're sitting uh, in, in the sun afterwards, uh, having your cup of tea, it's, it just felt so fantastic. And uh, as you saw in the video, we went in twice. It was so good. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and I'll tell you the other thing. When I'm, you, you know, I like to listen to music. Uh, you know, I've got my cordless headphones when I'm working in the garden or when I'm uh, running or, you know, I, I use music to motivate me a lot. And there are a couple of songs that I have on my playlist that just give me that kind of, oh, and I really feel like my heart's going to like, explode. So, so my two, I'll, I'll tell you my two, I'll tell you my three, and then you, you can tell me. And it doesn't have to be music. If, if it's not music that you're into, maybe you're into, 
I, I don't know, climbing up uh, to the top of the canyon where you live and looking out over whatever it is. Uh, anyway, my, uh, my old, old favourite, and this goes back to when I was a child, is uh, John Paul Young, Love is in the Air. Now, I don't know if you know that one, but it kind of builds up. And I feel when I'm listening to it, when you get to, uh, we're coming up to the chorus, I, I feel like I'm going up and up and up and up and up the stairs, and then I'm ready to just kind of lift off uh, when we come to the top. So, so that's one, and that has been on and off my playlists since, since I was a, a child. And the other one that I've uh, been loving the last two years is Tame Impala, Let It Happen, which, and, and that just is a song that always gets me through and uh, I, I love that one. I've got various remixes of it that I listen to. And the last one that I've got at the moment is, I think it's called um, Keep This Fire Burning by The Outsiders. And that's a kind of, uh, a kind of house um, dance music one and, and that, that's a great one if I am out running or if I'm just doing my cleaning I often use uh, the, the, the music to, to you know if I'm doing my weekly home blessing or a spot of zone cleaning so anyway uh, I hope that that was uh, fun for you to see down at the sea and the other thing <laughs> that has really kind of brought joy to me uh, since yesterday is and we'll talk more about this week Danish cult school you know what? We, we, we had our first cult school of the year yesterday and then uh, you two, uh, and I've explained in another video and we'll talk about it next week. Uh, but, uh, you eat it with these little uh, biscuits in it and you can have it for breakfast or you can have it for lunch or we, we often have it as um, a snack either in the afternoon or mid-morning uh, and we had our first cult school yesterday. So there you go. Spring is here in Denmark. So anyway, um, let me know if you've either got a kind of activity that kind of makes you burst with joy or just something that's happened the last couple of days that's just giving you that uh, feeling and uh, or, or your favourite music because music is a really, really good uh, motivator, especially right now. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to get on with my day. I'm going to get my uh, sweater on or my jumper as we say in British English. Uh, so anyway, live long and prosper. May the Danish... Spring who could be with you. And oh and, and the other thing is tomorrow I'll try and upload um another recipe video. I, I made um one, one of our family standby dishes which uh, you can use uh if you've got some leftover uh, cooked salmon or some smoked salmon. It's a really simple dish. So anyway, I'll I'll try and get that finished today. It was one of the ones where I was kind of filming and you know, I couldn't say anything because the, the, the family are around. Uh, anyway, I'll try and get that up for you uh, tomorrow. So anyway, that's a long crossword. Danish will be with you. See you very soon. Bye for now.